welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another DIY video. I did one back in March. My last DIY was this enchanted rose jar. If you haven't seen that, then go and check that out. Uh, you guys loved it. And I've had so many people um, send in pictures of their versions of it because they've made it um, from watching my tutorial, which is just amazing. Like, it's such a great feeling to know that you've loved it. It's had quite a lot of views as well, so thank you so much for that. So people have been messaging me non-stop asking when I'm going to do another DIY video. So I've finished uni, so I've got a lot more time now on my hands. I'm going to be bringing out a lot of videos, so make sure you're subscribed so you can see what's coming. And check out my Instagram as well for daily updates on what I'm up to. So today's video is going to be a kind of Disney princess home decor, I don't even know how to describe it, basically I'm going to make a couple of different things um, for around the house so that you can bring like Disney princess into like your kitchen or your bedroom and stuff like that. So for instance I'm going to be getting these figurines and putting them onto like jars um, to store things in. So these are kitchen ones, these ones could be for in the bedroom. Little trinket plates for putting like jewellery and necklaces on. So that's what I'm going to attempt to make. So if you're going to want to make the jar versions for either like in your bedroom or for in the kitchen um, if you want to store anything in them basically. I've just realised that I've got another container downstairs that I want to do this to. So I'm going to have to shout for Matthew. Can you bring me up the sweetie jar? I forgot I was going to do that. Thank you. Why is the peanut butter on it? So I forgot about this jar, but Matthew's just passed me it. So I'm going to do one on this jar. So basically I'm going to put like a princess on it. I've just realised as well that Aurora lost a hand. I'm so annoyed. We'll get onto that in a second. But we're gonna put a princess on the jar and then we are going to spray the jar and princess like lid a colour which represents her so you can tell it's that princess. And it's just, that's all you have to do. It's just a really cute, inexpensive, quick way of bringing like Disney princess into your home. You don't even have to use princesses. You could use little like animal figurines. Basically just any figurine, it doesn't even have to be Disney. So I'm gonna do one of these for the kitchen. I've got tea, coffee and sugar things for the kitchen as well. I'm going to do one of these to store like cotton buds and makeup and things in my room. And I've got a couple of, of these plates uh, that say love on them. Um, and I'm going to do one like jewellery little plate things. These were from Asda and they were a set, they were £5. I'm trying to do my house like pastel so that's why I've went for the green. So the silver and the princess will be getting sprayed but the green will be staying green. Um, these were from Asda as well, these were £2 each. This was from Home Bargains, I think it was like £1.29, something really cheap like that. And these were for Home Bargains as well and these were 99 pence. So you can basically just get any jar or plate or just anything really to stick them onto. You need to get yourself some figurines. I've gone for a princess like set because I want to do quite a few of them. Like I was saying, um, I got these off eBay. I actually have this set on that windowsill there from um, when they were first in stores like years ago and my boyfriend bought me for them and I've kept them nice and I've displayed them on my windowsill and I've bought the exact same set from eBay. You need to make sure that the figures you do get once they've been completely sprayed you can tell that it's that figurine. So like for instance you're going to be able to tell that that's Ariel, you're going to be able to tell that that's Jasmine, like I'm going to do Belle yellow so you'll be able to tell that that is Belle, that sort of thing. But yeah, I've just got them out of the bag, I bought them weeks ago for this DIY and her hand is missing so that's really annoying. So I'm still going to do a jar with her on but she's going to be missing her hand so we'll just pretend that that doesn't happen. Clearly this DIY is going well already. Mind you, I kind of mished my way through the last one and it doesn't look half bad if you ask me. And you also need some spray paints. So I went for a white primer. I think it's just best that you prime them. You don't have to, but this was 3 95 in Wilkinson. So I thought I may as well prime them. There was a green one and a white one. So I'm gonna prime everything first and then color everything. I managed to get a couple of colours in Wilkinson. If there is a Wilkinson near you, I, I would recommend them. I've been looking for different spray paints and colours for months online, getting ready to do this tutorial, and this is the cheapest I've seen them. These were 3 95 for 400 millilitres. Um, I want to go for like pastel kind of brights, like not too deep colours, um, not, like, not like this kind of pink, more like this kind of pink. So I've gone for yellow and a pink from Wilkinson, so that'll be like Aurora, that'll be Belle and Snow White. And then I could only get a small blue, which was annoying. Um, 
because Wilkinson had run out of blue. I recommend that you try and get them all from Wilkinson because it's the cheapest. By the going B and Q, um, the Wilkinson didn't have a nice green or purple. They had dark ones, which if you want to do that, then that's fine. But I wanted pastels, so these were actually nine pound each. Ugh. But I'm going to be using them for a lot more DIYs, so I didn't mind so much. Um, and this was actually £4, which isn't bad, but considering the bigger size was £4, that was annoying. So try and get all of your colours in somewhere like Wilkinson's if you can, because they're cheaper. So you're going to need spray paints, figurines, what you're going to stick them to, and then to stick them down, you're going to need a hot glue gun. So I've got this hot glue gun here, which I didn't realise it was turned on. Oh my god, why have I done that? Unplug it, unplug it now. Okay. This is not going well. So I didn't realise that the hot glue gun was plugged in, so there's a little bit of glue, but it was actually on top of something, so it's okay. But I've unplugged it while I continue telling you what you need. It's also really warm in here because it's like the hottest day of the year so far, I'm absolutely boiling. Okay, so you're going to need a hot glue gun, like I was trying to say, <laughs> and then you're going to need wipes to clean down um, the surfaces of what you are sticking the princesses to. So first things first, you need to clean down the surfaces of everything that's going to get princesses stuck down to them. Oh my god, these are boiling from sitting under the hot glue gun. This is just going fabulous. I've knocked over the light, I've knocked over the candle, I've turned the glue gun on by accident, I've melted the plastic on this cleaner. These are bathroom wipes. This is going well. It's going well, Sarah. Well done. Okay, so you need to decide which princesses are going where so you know what you're using and then you need to clean them. So I have more princesses than jars and things so I'm just going to decide what's going where and then I'm going to clean them so I can stick them on. Okay, I'm going to take the lids off everything so that it's easier to stick them on. Now, you guess, I guess you just kind of have to eyeball where the middle is and then just kind of go for it and stick them on, I guess. I mean, if you want to be really particular, get a ruler, but I'm just going to stick them on. coming but apparently uh, the hot glue gun w won't work on these plastic figurines which is weird I didn't know hot glue didn't work on plastic that rose is plastic and it worked on that hmm. <sighs> last time I had loads of glues as well and this time all I've got is Mod Podge I've got this all-purpose adhesive but there's hardly any left I've got loads of empty E6000, so I don't even think I can squeeze any of that out, or that probably would have been perfect. I've got, I think this is E6000 in here, but it won't come out. And I've got fabric glue. So I'm just gonna use all of them and see which one works. <laughs> and if none of these work, I'm gonna have to go to Asda and get some glue. <laughs> oh, why? Why is this happening to me? So clearly today is just not my day because <laughs> the camera just cut out and I don't know where it cut out. Like, oh my God, I'm so not good at DIYs, but I'm trying. Right, everything is stuck. I'm going to go outside um, to spray these because it needs to be a well ventilated area and I don't want to ruin like everything that's in here by getting like sprayed. I'll quickly just tell you now what I'm going to do when I get out there just in case it is loud out there and you can't hear me. But I'm going to get out there, I'm going to shake the can of the primer for two minutes, I'm going to do spray light several layers on each piece about 25 centimetres away, 10 minutes between each layer and I'm going to do a couple of layers on each one, that's what it says to do, just read the instructions on your can and then I'm going to leave it to dry for an hour. Then I will shake each colour for two minutes well, like, as I go to use them and just do quick light 25 centimetres away sprays on the chosen piece. So that's what I will do for each one and then I'll leave them to dry for an hour. But hopefully this should all go smoothly. They're all stuck down now so fingers crossed let's go outside and let's let's actually do the fun part.
that was so easy okay the gluing part wasn't easy that was just like oh my god like most people will probably do a DIY and just be like do this do this do this do it here's me like every type of glue you can think of and nothing works but they seem to have stayed in place like it seems to have worked so I'm really happy with how they turned out. The spray painting part of it was actually really fun and really quick. So I just give them all a quick blast with a primer, then picked the colours and sprayed them. And they seem to have like taken really well as well. Like, I mean, there's different things here. Like this was wood, these are plastic. This was metal, this was metal. Like these are ceramic, like ceramic. So the spray paint seemed to work on a lot of different things. I think the primer definitely helped. Um, when I was saying that a primer isn't really necessary, it might not be, but it definitely helped to give an even colour. Okay, so I'm going to put the lids on things. Oh my god, look at that. That's going to go in my kitchen now. I love it. Oh, I love it so much. Oh. Then these ones are what I use for my tea, coffee and sugar in my kitchen. So Belle's going to be on the tea one. so nice with the green as well oh my god i love it and there we have it really quick really easy the jars a couple of pounds in home bargains princesses get them on ebay seven pound the spray paints can be more expensive so shop around so these are now going to go around my house and yeah so that was really easy and quick and um, anyone can do it do get parental supervision when you're spraying though and do make sure you do it outside because honestly i feel like i can taste it and i did it outside so like I said, make sure you subscribe, thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I will do more DIYs. I've got loads more planned, I really do. I've already got the stuff to do them. I've got loads of videos coming. I'm finished uni now and I'm taking YouTube seriously. Not that I wasn't before, but I've got a lot more time to do a lot more videos. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I cannot wait to go and put this stuff around my house. I'm so excited. Please send me your pictures if you get to do this too because I loved seeing everybody's enchanted roses from my other DIY. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.